Just stop what you're doing. Just get the Mac Mini M4. That's all you need. Streaming, photo editing, video editing. That's it. I'm using it right now. It's freaking awesome. So let's get to it. Hey everybody, Eddie here with the Bite Lane. Today we're looking at the M4 Mac Mini. I'm gonna show you why I needed to get it in the comparison from my old computer to the new one and a little bit of footage of getting it set up and all the goodies in between. I have a lot more to come, so please stick around. If you're new to the channel, I am Eddie with the Bite Lane. I do tech reviews, car reviews with tech, anything with tech, I do a review on it, and I hope you guys like how I do it. So let's get into it. I built this whole setup. I love it. It's super, super nice. However, I have an older 2019 MacBook Pro with the Intel chip on it. And I was trying to get all this set up. I bought everything, got it all set up. It just cannot keep up. I'm super disappointed. I'm bummed out at the Pro, but it's a 2019, six years old now. Five, six, five, six years old MacBook Pro. Just can't keep up anymore. So there's only one thing to do. And I did it. Mac mini, baby. Mac freaking mini, dog. And this is just the base model. 10 core, 10 GPU, 256, the one that they stock everywhere. You just go in and grab it and let's go home. And I did get a one terabyte Samsung SSD, a T9 SSD. Got that at Best Buy, they had it in stock. I hate waiting online for Amazon stuff. I just wanna go buy things. That's kind of part of my problem. Anyways, but love the setup. We're set up for streaming, set up for gaming. My, my son's doing PS5. I have the PS5 over here into the El, a lot of Elgato products, which are just beautiful. Love them, so nice. One of the best products they I think they make. Super, super good quality. So let's get to it. I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna do a video test. I'm gonna show you what I was trying to record earlier. And then now this video, I had to use my DJI Mic Mini microphone because I can't record anything through here because it's so slow, so delayed. I had the headphones on, it was awful. So I'm gonna show you some of that video on the struggles and I'm gonna show you, let's unbox this. We'll get this plugged in, booted up. I hope it's just nice. All the reviews online, everybody's talking about it. I really, really hope it's nice. Please be nice. Cause me, I always go too crazy. I wanna buy the best of the best. I'm looking at the MacBook Pro with the Pro chip in it, but it's $1,300. This is $599, double the price, not much. Not a huge benefit from what people are saying online. The, the base model mini, they say, is just really great. The only thing I'm worried about is the memory. It's only 16 gigs of memory. It's my only concern if that's enough memory. Because I was going to get one with a little bit more, but I had to wait like two weeks. Like I said, don't like waiting. I don't know if it's just a guy thing or a me thing, but I want it now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it done. So let's go. All right, I just want to show you guys the difference here. So this one was recorded on my iPhone 16 Pro Max with the DJI mic. And when I play it back here on my 2019 MacBook Pro, it works just fine. See, no glitch. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but playing, playing well, playing smooth. <clears throat> so now, let me show you one that I recorded using OBS Studios through the MacBook, capturing it all together. So the most recent one would be, let's do this first one I did. As you can see, it doesn't want to play. Perfect. Let's open the other one. This one's got dual camera, so it's a little more demanding from the program for sure. But let's play this one back. Okay, there. I couldn't talk at the very beginning. So, so. I'm showing you how delayed this is. I'm gonna do another video, but there's a massive delay because I'm using a 19 MacBook Pro so with the Intel chips in it. It just there, cannot keep up with this setup. I got two monitors going, the OBS link. I think it's just, you can just see how much it's struggling to keep up just playing back a simple piece of video. So that's why I did what I did. Okay, let's get this thing Unboxed, plugged in, rocking and rolling. Shall we? I love Apple stuff and you just so satisfying. Just that. You're just like, oh yeah. Beast. Clean. Lovely. Look at that. Love it. Never wrong. Just comes with the power cable. You don't even get a Thunderbolt cable. I mean, come on, Apple. At least one Thunderbolt cable would be nice for how much it is. They can afford to throw it in there. Anyways, it's Apple though. Can't win. A satisfying peel of new stuff is always nice. So, as you can see for reference, there she is. That's all it is. It's gonna go nicely somewhere on my desk here. We're gonna find a nice home for it eventually. Run it again to see 
how much smoother it was because you guys saw how terribly slow it was. Terribly slow. Which I was kind of expecting when I was doing this. I didn't think it was going to be able to keep up. Especially when you're running two monitors, two cameras, a microphone software. It's just way too much for it. But I was hoping at least if I recorded it, the recording would be smooth. The playback while I was recording was okay. But then the, you know, during the recording on the screens, it was smooth when I was recording. And then I went to go play it back. It was glitchy. So then I put it to my iPhone. Still glitchy. Not good. So let's do this. Yeah, solid desk. Let me show you guys what I did for my cable management. The Ethernet coming through there. Got everything stuck up. Here, good old 3M stick and peel strips. I got my all my power bricks for all my other items there and not just the little cable twist ties. I'll have them in the description below of the stuff I bought for all this, but you know, you, know, you got some room here to mount stuff and it still hides the wires really, really well. So it's kind of what we're doing. So we're gonna find a solid plug there. And then just for today's demonstration purposes, we're just gonna hook this up. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Let me just put it back here. Was one handed stupidness never works. So where to go? There she is. And yes, I always refer everything as a she she stuff. Just old school. Born a long time ago. All right. Let's see. So I have it plugged into the Sateki Thunderbolt bridge, essentially, like a hub. I hope you guys can still see my face. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is unplug my MacBook Pro, leave it the same way, just take these two, plug them in the back power it on, install, set up, do all the things, download all the programs again, because that's when it's gonna take forever. And then demonstration purposes. Excuse me, I just burped, coming your way. Always be proper. Always do the right thing. Shut your computers down. Don't just unplug it. Kill the power. You just never know, especially the way things cost and how much stuff is. Don't do that. All right, let's see. Now I know this has three Thunderbolt ports, HDMI, ethernet, power, and then you have USB 3.0, 10 gigabits per second. These are 40 gigabits per second. So I think it's USB 4. Anyways, power button's on the bottom. Everybody's freaking losing their mind about this stupid power button because you gotta lift it up and turn it on. But who really ever turns their computer off? Not very often unless there's a problem. So you just gotta lift it up and turn it off and turn it on. Not a big deal. Anyways, it's a techie Thunderbolt hub we're gonna use for now. It can power three different monitors with one input. So I'm just gonna do that for now. I know I can plug in both my monitors into the back here which maybe I'll do later on. We'll just see how this thing is acting. Actually, you know what? I'm, I might just bypass that for now. I need all three of these. See, that's the deal. Jeez. That's a shorty. Shorty, shorty, shorty. Let's plug it in. Let's just plug it in. Put this here. Let's get my sweet freaking monitor hooked up. And the one that's just dope. The MSI monitor thing is clean. I'm gonna go here with that one. The Elgato capture card is getting plugged right in. So I'm gonna, I'll re-hook this up differently later on, but just for today's purposes, I just wanna see how it is. First time, let's power her on right now. Oh, it's got a little speaker built into it. Okay, that was kind of interesting. Welcome to Mac. I just love Apple stuff. I've always been a fan. Sometimes there's limitations, but man, look at that screen. This MSI monitor is a freaking amazing beast. That's just sexy as all get out right there. Holy, sorry, excuse my language. That's fucking nice screen. Holy hell. All right, let's go download all the goodies for Elgato to get the stream deck working, to get the capture card working, to get the microphone working, to get the camera working. Each one has their own plugin. And then we're gonna just OBS too, we need that. And this channel really is dedicated to just real world, real life, checking things out. I don't get into deep dive specifications. There's so many great people out there doing awesome videos on bench tests, specifications. So if you're looking for that on this channel, this is not it. This is just more like, does this work for majority of people and just my honest review? Because I feel like I get pretty honest reviews. I mean, I like myself. I don't know if you guys like myself, I like myself. I got other videos. It's been a long time since I've been doing this. Six, seven years ago. Anyways, bye. All right, we got the reboot, reinstall software update, of course, because why wouldn't there be a software update with every single electronic thing you've ever purchased in your life, probably? Software update. Anyways, so here we go. So it's booted back up, turned back on. God, I love this. Screen is money. MSI, which one is it? I don't even know. It's in the link below. OLED, I think it's one of their like, it's about a year old or so. Freaking love it. 240 Hertz, 
colors are awesome for gaming to ps5 it just is smooth lovely for this game editing oh i mean i can't even just get my words out of my mouth i'm just so damn excited about it this thing is d-o-g-s-h-i-t some days just fucking want to throw it it's crazy like when computers slow down how much it's so what the just work you know look it won't even turn on now come on how long do i got to push the power button down for i know i shut you off but Come on, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I finally got everything downloaded again. Just wanna get down to the nitty gritty. Don't mind my mess back here. You can't see it on this camera, but here you can see it there. there. Okay, anyways. So, download the capture device, everything from OBS and from Elgato, all the things that we need, and there is zero delay now which before there was a massive delay I couldn't even hear. It's supposed to be a zero latency. Perfect, right out of the Stream Deck headphones. That's exactly how it's supposed to be. So let's create a scene. Let's add the capture device. We're gonna call this the face cam because that's what this beautiful thing is. 4K, what is going on there? Why is it upside down? Stupid. What? No signal. It's right here. It's open. Hello, hello, hello. Well, that's just weird. Let's quit OBS. I've heard of that a lot online where... Okay, now we got it. Would you look at that? Would you just look at that? Okay, it's not focusing on me though. Let's move over a little bit more so I can focus on my big main mug. There we go. All right, so now let's just have some... Oh, still need an audio device. That would help. This is gonna be the Stream Deck. You can tell I've done this like once before. It's about it. Okay, look, now we got sound clipping a little bit. Let's just turn it down a little bit. So when I talk a little louder, it's not too much into the red. I think that sounds pretty good. I want my headphones a little bit louder. So we got to use this one. No, this one. I don't even know which that works there. Okay. The one thing I'm going to say right now is though, I do miss that third monitor with the laptop that was pretty nice having three video sources but it's good because this we can just set all these cool things I'll, I'll do another video on like some of the features of this stuff i don't want to go into crazy depth with it but there's some kind of cool controls you can do and i'm pretty sure you can add all that to the stream deck so you hit a button and it'll zoom in zoom out do all the cool things and i'm looking i'm looking at the camera over here then i'm looking here then i'm looking over there then i'm looking back over here I'm getting a little crazy but it's working great everything is working really really well so now let's just try got microphone and camera we're going to start recording all right everybody we got the stream deck hooked back up. That was a bad intro. Okay, everybody. Now we have the Mac mini M4 plugged in and we're recording directly from OBS. So we're going to compare that to the, compare that to the 2019 MacBook Pro that I had. And right now I can already tell you, it's probably going to work fan flippantastic right now. I'm super jazzed. The sound is really great. I got the Shure, the Rode, the Stream Deck, Elgato, man, you guys just do something right. It's very clean, very high-end material stuff. It's very, very good. It's not cheap, but it's well worth paying for this kind of stuff. Put money in good products if you're going to be using it a lot. Don't buy the cheap crap. It's not worth it. Just keyboard, for example. It's free. Don't judge me. Anyways, super good. So let's see. I'm going to stop recording. We're going to see how this sounds. We're going to compare it. I'm filming on my iPhone, but I'm going to hook my iPhone up now as a second camera, and I'm going to do some more recording just to put a bigger low demand on this Mac Mini, and I don't think it's going to have a problem. Look, I fucking saved it in like two seconds. <laughs> Shit. Crazy. If you're liking this sort of content, please like, please subscribe. It really helps me out. I mean, you guys all know what to do. It's all over YouTube, so just do it if you really want to see more of me giving you this type of information. Let's go. All right, everybody. Now I got three cameras going. I got the Facecam Pro right in front of me. I got my iPhone right over here, and I've got the MK2 Elgato webcam as well right up there. So all three cameras working on the Mac Mini. I'm recording flawlessly. No delays, no interruptions, recording through the stream deck with the XLR mic. Everything is very, very nice right now. No complaints. I mean, everything's working the way it should be. Super nice. I really want to put more of a stress test. I do have a activity monitor on my computer running in the background and it's 
16 gigs of memory in the Mac mini. And the highest I've seen it get up to is about 14. Right now we're at about 12.6, 13 gigs of memory being used. But I would imagine the computer's gonna try to use as much memory as it can for most any of the programs or software. So it is maxing out most of the time. I haven't heard it come on. It's not getting very hot. Buggy once in a while, but nothing really to complain about for the price and being the base model is being able to keep up. And this is a pretty, pretty strong demand, I would say, on this situation right now with the MK2 up here, which looks a little washed out on the camera settings, but you know, that's later. And then the iPhone, which is pretty awesome. You can do that wirelessly with the iPhone. So just plop it up anywhere. You know, I can take it off this little mount that I have. And you know, here we are. Here's what I'm using. Just a little magnetic, my Camolo mount that I did. You can check out one of those videos. I'll leave it in the link to below in the description. Just pop it right up there. And I mean, it's, yeah, it does the job, but I mean, need another camera? You got your iPhone, plug it in. You got it right there, Work, works awesome. But the sound is what I'm mostly excited about. You know, works awesome with the Shure SM58 microphone. So it's been around forever. It's more what singers use, So, but it works for now because it gets more of my voice from here. I don't have to be super close to it. I can almost have it out of frame, which you guys can see. I can bring it in a little closer, you know, but don't really need to. And this is, of course, is on the Elgato low profile arm. That's the setup, that's the Mac Mini, the load on the Mac Mini. Obviously it's working well, I'm gonna put that video up and then maybe I'll play this in the background with my iPhone recording so you guys can see that it's smooth, smooth, smooth compared to the beginning of the video where it was just super, super glitchy. Even though it looked like it was recording when I was recording it, it was recording smoothly. But as soon as I did the playback, it was completely chopped up and yeah, bad. So much, much better. Good job, Mapple. Mapple. Good job, Apple. I appreciate it. Elgato, thank you for all your wonderful products. Nothing, this is not a sponsored video by them, but great stuff. So, all right, so now I got that video all done. I'm just gonna open it up in QuickTime, which I have right over here, and then we're gonna see how it plays flawlessly now. There's no interruptions, no delays, no anything from playing it from directly, directly recorded from OBS. I'm just opening it up in QuickTime just to check it. So here it is, no delays, all right, everybody. perfect. Oh, cameras going. I got the face cam pro right in front of me. Right, I got my iPhone right over here and I've got the MK2 Elgato uh, webcam as well right there. So perfect. Awesome. Perfect. 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 Good job. Mac mini working, working great. So hopefully we're good to go. Sorry. A little background. No delays. Everything's really, really nice. So I'm excited so far. It's keeping up with what I need to do. So let's just keep on going. So as you can see, the Mac Mini M4 is a super, super powerhouse. So if you liked it, please like, please subscribe, please check out my other content. I've got a lot more coming. And with that, the name Bite Lane, I'm definitely going to be introducing some stuff with vehicles. If it has technology, this is the channel. So let's go. Just remember, please hit record and let's do this.